as an advisor, I'll say maybe even to the governor of uh, uh, of Nairobi, for instance, you sit and look at, of course, how Nairobi is a beehive of activity, especially with these uh, folks in the SME space. Have you made it any easier or harder for them in operation, operating on the business? <clears throat> yes, uh, thank you very much, and uh, uh, allow me to thank you for inviting me here. Uh, first and foremost, uh, for the shortest time I've been there, I want to say that uh, I've seen uh, uh, an environment that is fast changing. But first and foremost, we need to appreciate certain facts. As already said, MSMEs cater for a large number of uh, enterprises, over 90%. Looking at, even breaking down the MSME sector again, the micro and the small are actually about 98% of the entire MSMEs. Looking at in terms of employment creation, MSMEs are the generators of jobs in the economy, 50% plus on an annual basis. That's one sector, and it's bigger than what government can employ, what banks, and any other private sector I mean, uh, entities can employ. Looking at the demographics in our country, we know that close to 75% of the population is uh, youth. At the same time, with that particular population dynamics, about 75% of the, all the unemployed in the economy are youths. If you look at the segment or the sector of the economy that is actually absorbing the youths, it's actually the MSMEs. So what are we trying to say in a nutshell? That actually MSMEs is indeed the bedrock of our economy. And the faster we started to address it, the better. And looking at how uh, MSMEs have been treated in the past, they were always looked at as if they were criminal activities. A lot of times they patch on road reserves and the like, and when a, a project is coming, then they are swept off and nobody cares where do they go, you know? And uh, whether they've lost a number of times since they, are, they don't have proper work sites, you fight again, their structures are demolished and maybe their wares are taken away. So what I'm saying that is that going forward in this country, we have to appropriately address MSMEs. Uh, studies by the World Bank and, um, and uh, our Treasury, uh, when COVID came, equally saw that uh, close to 70% of MSMEs actually suffered a great deal in terms of uh, reduced cash flows which actually made most of them vulnerable to closure. So again, on the aspect of accessing uh, credit or affordable credit, uh, we need to look at MSMEs. Uh, on the other side, mm -hmm. looking at uh, issues of taxation, because MSMEs, uh, I've spoken to a number of MSMEs, I even go to where they work and I ask, what is the big issue here? They tell you taxation is not fair to us. We are subjected to very painful, very punitive taxation uh, regimes yeah. that cannot support our growth. So it therefore means that going forward, we have to structure instruments that are going to support MSMEs. And even if we want to get into manufacturing, uh, as already uh, unveiled by the Azimio uh, presidential candidate, that manufacturing is going to key to be key. Then it means we must address manufacturing through MSMEs, okay. because that is the only way you'll find the ordinary Kenyan. The, the, that youth who is uh, uh, innovate, innovative enough coming up and actually seizing the moment to be able to get into uh, the manufacturing sector and to contribute to the economy. Thank you, Mr. Kasuku. appreciate it. And uh, please, a round of applause to the palace for that first round of um, responses. Uh, wh why it's interesting that I hear you speak about the manufacturing sector. Uh, earlier, I think I was speaking to the Kenya Association of Manufacturers, Kenya Private Sector Alliance, the Kenya National Chamber of Commerce and Industry, and what you've actually noticed is that they all have SME hubs as well um, onto that space. So trying to also just put in the beat about, you know, the perception is that these organizations only uh, represent the large 